hello hi welcome to this tutorial in this tutorial we are going to see mesh network with offset random including fall off for this tutorial I'm going to bring in Taurus so I'm just clicking here in the shelf and just going into the channel box inside the inputs so I want this radius to be a little bit big so just click on this and middle mouse and drag you will increase the radius and also the section radius to be a little bit bigger okay and uh, I'm going to increase the division to 30 okay and after that I'm going to bring in uh, the plane just click on here so select that plane again going into the inputs in the channel box and I want this to be 1 okay the subdivision so selecting that one I'm going to press ctrl E and I'm going to extrude it okay so select the plane that is the box okay you can just uh, go inside and rename it as you need I'm just uh, leaving it as a default one I'm just going to go here and I'm going to scale it up and I'm going to freeze the transform and also for this freezing the transformation okay and here for this one I'm going to delete the history right so now what I'm going to do select uh, selecting this plane okay I'm going to convert the, this into the mesh network okay so going into the mesh shelf so selecting the mesh network clicking on it this will create the mesh one network okay so selecting mesh network going into the attribute or you can just press ctrl a to bring in the attribute okay so here right clicking and going into the mesh and I want uh, to modify the distribution okay so I'm just going into the mass distribute okay this mesh network is going to get attached with this torus okay for this one I'm just going to use uh, the distribute more to be mesh and the mesh is this torus okay so I'm going to open the outliner okay just uh, come into the attribute in the distribution type just go here put into mesh okay so I want this to be the face center okay so uh, here is the torus so click middle mouse click and drag the input mesh so here you see this got attracted with the face center so if I just click on this you can view this one okay I want uh, uh, the points to be more I can just go and increase it here okay or else you can just flood this one okay here you see this got flooded and uh, here uh, the input the plane is um, bigger than the face right so I can just go here enable scaling I can make it bigger or smaller okay as you need right you can just uh, go for it I can just give point two, one point two. okay this looks better so what I do I just select uh, the torus which is inside the which is the controller okay which is the input mesh so I'm just going to hide it control H to hide or else you can just go to the display hide hide selection right so this is what I get all right so as I said now I'm going to tell you how to add uh, the nodes the offset node and the random node and how I'm going to work with the fall off okay so for that one I have to go into the mesh okay just first I'm going to use the offset just adding the offset node just simple just click here add offset node okay so this will get added to this okay after adding here the offset comes over here right okay so what is the offset you're going to do I can just offset the position I can just offset the rotation I can just offset the scale okay where I can just uh, scale this one okay you see this okay so how I'm scaling here it is control left mouse button click and drag you see I can just scale it okay so if you want to move the position okay so I can just go hold on control key and this X position I can just move okay left mouse button click and drag it will move if you want rotation if you want the rotation to be in Z axis control left mouse button I can just rotate you can see this is getting rotated okay so or else you can just go here type in the amount 
okay if I want that to be 180 degree you see this got affected right so I can just make it zero okay so you can just use the random strength also you can just reduce it you see this is getting deformed okay you can use it in the text okay kind of uh, you know transformers uh, titling you can just use those use those innovative ideas to implement these uh, offset to your uh, creative ideas okay you can just use the strength this will uh, you know apply get apply for uh, the global and if you get uh, give it to be a random this is going to be get applied randomly all right so coming down here I said I'll be teaching you the fall off okay so coming into this fall off right click and just create so this will create a spherical uh, volume okay so within this volume this fall off is going to work the offset is going to work okay so I scaled it so that uh, it'll be easy for me to uh, view within the viewport so I'm just pressing W if I'm just going to move it outside you see this is getting deformed that is offset is getting applied to it okay so within the you know the fall off this for offset is getting affected if I'm just go going to take it out away from the torus okay this is going to come to the normal position right so you can just play with this uh, one okay so you just if you want to uh, do anything uh, if you want to uh, animate uh, this uh, uh, fall off you can just go here set key here set key yes press S to set key and you can just take it here and you can move it here set key okay so if I'm just going to play this one this is going to be like this okay you can just uh, go there and uh, work on I'm just undoing it I'm just coming to the normal position so go into this fall off okay right click and show in outliner so this will show in the outliner or else you can just open the outliner you can open this plus mark and you can get it so this will be hidden here so you can just click on here where you get it in the attribute okay so you can make it invert also right so you see when I just click on the invert this uh, became the normal if I just move it outside this is going to affect the uh, get affected by the offset right so you can play with these things all right so uh, if you want to change the shape of this shape of the fall of node you can just come here you can just make it uh, uh, you can make it cube okay or you can make it uh, some particle or mesh if you want to have a mesh to be uh, getting affected with this fall off okay you can use mesh also okay so if I just give mesh here you have to go into this connection you have to add the shape here which will get affected by this fall off okay where you can just control it where you can control it with a mesh also okay so here I'm just going with a spear itself if uh, if you move this one this is going to get affected right you can just now play with the offset okay so click on the mesh mesh network go into the offset okay so come up here okay if I want the position to be increased okay here you see I can just increase this one alright so if I'm going to sorry select this of fall off and if I move you see this is going to deformed right so you can play with this you can just uh, increase the size of uh, this so that this will be affecting the model in a uh, larger area all right so I'm just going to reduce this one okay scale it and I can just uh, go for the rotation also here I go with 180 y axis to be 180 and uh, uh, this to be you know uh, let it be 0 here I'm going to scale this one to something around 20 now you see uh, 20 is more I can just give 5 yeah this is good so if I just move it you see this one alright and uh, you see some some are missing because of uh, you know random strength I want everything to be get attracted okay 
so I'm just reducing the random strength sorry increasing the random strength I'm just going to bring it back you can just play with these settings alright so I can scale this one so that it can go like this right so uh, I hope uh, you enjoyed this one so uh, I'm just deleting you just play with these settings and one more thing I I, I have to tell you uh, the mode also here is a multiple mode which is going to affect um, the scale the rotation and the position drastically you know it gets multiplied kind of a mode right so kind of a Photoshop mode you see now so you see the rotation happening yes so this is going to get affected drastically right so you can just use those things or else you can just overwrite which will give you the overwrite effect okay you can play with these settings so which will give you a uh, different animations you can just play with this uh, uh, fall off okay so here I'm going to delete the node offset node I'm just deleting the off offset node selecting this one I'm going to delete the fall off also second one it's a random okay so you just go for random here click on the random add the node okay so you see immediately this got affected and I'm going to bring in the fall off object here just go into the random okay mash one random just create a fall off now if I'm going to move this one you see this is getting where you can just go into the random okay you can play with these uh, settings so if I want the x-axis to be uh, changed if I want the y-axis and also the z-axis to be affected and I can just use this one right so I can play with this setting sorry I have to select the fall off I can play with the settings right so where I can just use the scaling if I want or else I can just use the rotation okay so if I play this one just go here if you want to uh, you know burst kind of thing if you want to burst it I can just give 20 here and 20 here and 20 here okay so this is the burst I can do right just click on this and if you want uh, some dynamic motion you can just use the rotation here and the rotation here if you want some scaling to happen you can just use uh, scaling so that this will give you a different look all right so you can just play this one okay and also if you want this to get affected randomly you can just use the random uh, random uh, you know random strength you can just use the random strength here so that this will affect the strength of the you know the random randomly okay so you can just play with these settings if you want the strength to be zero you can just uh, bring in back you can just uh, you don't want to uh, you know animate uh, this uh, fall off you can just animate the you know the strength okay so you can just increase the strength to five also this is going to uh, you know uh, apply the random strength five times more okay so you can just use this one something like this so this is going to burst okay you can just uh, uh, work with those settings right so you can uh, if you want only the half part to get bursted so you can use this so you can just use this right so you can just play with this uh, fall off and uh, same way you can I, I have to tell you another one so this is a spear okay and we have seen the invert you see if I'm just going to move this one this is going to get spread it I have to make it a little bit smaller for this option so I'm going to bring in down here okay so if I'm just going to bring in now you see 
this is getting affected if I move this out of uh, of the range this is coming back right so what I do uh, I can just increase the inner zone so that this is going to get affected fully within the the circle if I'm just if I want uh, this area to get affected and you see I want this to get broken and stand okay so it has to stay broken if I want to do that here if I move it you see these things are coming back if I just go here and if I just use add mode if I'm just going to drag it you see here this got applied if I move that is getting stayed right so I can just use this so these area got deformed where I can just use here and use here okay so you can use these uh, steps and if I want uh, the fade you can just fade it okay so I can just uh, go here fade it and I can just move it how much fade you need okay you just play with those okay so how fade you need this right you just work on or you just play with those all right so you can just have the fade to be more so you see this is a little bit faster all right so if I'm just going to reduce this one this is going to be different you know you play with these settings right so uh, you can just go with the remove also if I'm just going to remove this one this is going to remove everything okay it is going to subtract okay if I'm going to add this is going to add okay the fade mode right you just play with you can just uh, play with these settings I hope you are enjoying this video okay you can just here I'm just uh, using a uh, cube you can use this one so I'm just going to animate this one before getting uh, uh, getting this animated I'm just going to add a new material for this and I'm going to use a uh, uh, standard uh, you know standard surface a standard surface so I use a blue color for this okay and let me introduce the light uh, 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 sky dome light let me check for the output yeah this looks okay for me uh, but I want the color to be a little bit darker so I can just uh, reduce the color so that this looks better so uh, now I'm going to animate this one okay so uh, you can make uh, the the inner zone to be stronger or you can just make the inner zone to be reduced okay if you want you can just have the invert okay so I'm going to uh, keep the um, the fall off here set key and go to 100th frame just move into this set key all right I hope you enjoy the settings if you want you can just introduce a camera new camera just go for new okay I'm just inside the camera so I can just uh, use the camera set key here I'm just going to go here zoom in and a little bit of rotation so I can have some motion for the camera so I can just go a little bit inside so that this is going to give me a better look All right you play with these settings hope you enjoy this video share subscribe support us thanks for watching thank you